Sight is one of the five main senses many of us rely on quite heavily, and it might be hard to imagine a world without it. Some people do live in such a world. People like Rachel. I was born with a degenerative condition called retinitis pigmentosa and at 18 years old I have 10% left of my vision but I haven't let it get in the way of anything I've ever wanted to do and now I've finally after trying so hard made a career out of music and singing and you know I never actually thought I would do it but I have and I'm really glad that I can be a symbol for um, people who have disabilities and as a Royal Society for the Blind Ambassador um, I'm really trying to show people that they can achieve anything and they can really get their independence back. The kind of independence that these helpful animals can give. This is Yuki and she's 18 months old and she's a Labrador Cross Golden Retriever and she's in training to become an RSB guide dog. Being a guide dog is pretty much like a full-time job for dogs like Yuki. She comes to this centre five times a week where she undergoes some pretty intensive training. First of all, Yuki goes to a puppy educator um, who teaches the dog basic house rules and toilet training and obedience. And then once the dog's between a year and a year and a half old, she comes into formal training in the harness. And what kinds of things does she do in the formal training? Yeah, well, we teach the dogs to find curbs and ramps um, and to get on escalators, travelators, um, and to get on buses and trains. Awesome. So at the moment, she's responding to your voice. What happens when she finds an owner and has to respond to someone else? Yeah, well, there's a bit of an adjustment period, but it usually takes a couple of weeks and then after that the dog's ignoring me and responding <laughs> to its new owner. Awesome and how is Yuki going? Yuki's going really well with her training she's a soft sensitive dog and she's about halfway through now so hopefully in a, about a month or so she should go out to her new client. Violetta is a guide dog graduate and is busy making a big difference to Roz's life. So Roz you let Violetta off her harness when we arrived at the park how often do you let her go like that? Oh, she has a little run at the park, but when we're home, she's out of her harness and she's just a normal dog. She just hangs out with the rest of the family. She'll lie in the sun and sunbake. <laughs> and, you know, just get lots of cuddles and lots of pats and visitors will come and she'll just be really excited and they'll all play with her. Awesome. And how important is it to you having someone like Viola to help you around? It's extremely important. She's changed my life completely. She's given me more independence, more freedom. And it's just a lot, a lot more fun hanging out with a really beautiful dog. Hi, counter. Hi, counter. Good girl.